everybody. You're listening to the Wife Wednesday Podcast. It's Wednesday and I'm one of your wives, Sina. And I'm Nicole. Wife Wednesday Podcast is a podcast that we created as a hobby and it has now become an exciting journey for self-discovery. Dot, dot, dot. But really, we're just two women who talk about anything and everything. So come hang out with us. Grab your fries, it's catch-up time! I know it's catch-up time, but first and foremost, I have to say, I am so glad to be back. I am also so gl- glad to be back. I am also glad that it's your birthday month. And it's my birthday you. month! Birthday girl! Which means, guys, the theme of this month, you're you're about to know, it's a uh, serial killer month. so hi we're never recording in december again yeah fuck that shit we kind of fell off the face of the earth sorry about that yeah nicole literally like i think i disappeared north pole literally and you know i've been trying to send sos's (laughs) flares smoke signals smoke signals everything (laughs) and it's just (laughs) Nothing's reached you, and, and I have yeah. never felt so far apart from you. I know. Lately. Literally agreed. Ugh. And then freaking snow. This motherfucking snow. Keeping us apart. So, obviously, I've been experiencing holiday burnout. I'm kind of getting better. But, like, it was bad. I'm finally putting away my holiday stuff this weekend away before my birthday. And... I to go, to go along with that holiday burnout, I've been having vivid dreams at night, so I'm not sleeping good at all. And last night was probably the first night that I didn't like move. I was like out. I remember waking up at like 5:30, rolling over and every bone in my body cracking. It was the no. greatest thing ever. <laughs> Your bed was like, allow me to be literally a doctor. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and like Last night was the first night I did not have a vivid dream. And it's not about, like, anything, ne- like, specific. It's just, like, different things happening and with, like, different people. It's just weird, I guess. And then, um, since we've been gone, I started working from home once a week with my job. It's been great. Uh, we have reviews coming up, and that's when I can get... I get to start my two days home from work. I'm super excited. I'm hopefully going to get Thursdays and Fridays work from home. Oh, my God. That's the dream. Right? The dream. Literally. I would only have to look nice maybe three days out of the week. That's literally my dream. (laughs) (laughs) Whereas I'm like, I'm such a diva. I'm like, I love dressing up. Yeah, I literally (laughs) love it every morning. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, and my baby, uh, his facial features are disappearing, becoming toddler features. The boy. He's growing up. I know. Every time I see pictures of him, I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, I know. What is it? Stop growing from Yeah, literally. (laughs) Today was, yes. (laughs) Today I worked from home and they came home around 3.30 or Josh went and got them around 3.30 and no one came up to see me. I was like, hello, and my chopped liver, you all know I'm here, my car's outside. And he came up, wanted nothing to do with me. And as soon as I got ready to come here, he wanted everything to do with me. Mommy, he had to decompress for a bit. Apparently so. There's drama at work, which I'm not going to talk about because if I tell them about my podcast, I'm not going to trash talk them. Over the podcast. Right, right. <laughs> but I'll start. I mean, I'll tell you about it. But Is it <laughs> if like only we had Patreon scandalous? where people could pay for that tea. <laughs> right? <laughs> Is it like scandalous? No, it's not scandalous. Damn it's it. just mean girl talk. <sighs> yeah. <Even> better. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so my one of my friends at work... <laughs> Cena left a note about this in our shared account. (laughs) Um, She is like, she is turning either 26 or 27. I might be wrong. 
But she uh, has three children, husband, three acres of land, like swimming pool, hot tub, trampoline that has what a does her net. Husband do? He literally look. They both worked at Luke before this. Okay. <laughs> They just got this house last year. He still works at Luke. She works with me. Like, it's a whole thing. But, like, they're now, like, the family friend. Do you know what I mean? Like, they are the family we will hang out with. No, okay, so growing up, we had a family, the Grimmers. Yeah. And it was a mom and dad with three daughters. Yeah. So the whole fam family would go over. All us kids would play together and all the grown-ups would do whatever. Yes, that's exactly what I'm hoping out of this. I mean, obviously I like her just for her. Yes. So that makes me want to go there more. And she has like bunnies and bunnies that just had five bunnies that had just got their hair. And Titus is obsessed with seeing them and asks me every day when we can go see them. And they're not old enough for us to see them yet. So, like, he has to wait, and it's killing him. Oh, I bet. Oh, yeah. Um, and then I am now best friends with Cena's husband. He texts me back when I ask. <laughs> yeah, did not text me back. <laughs> but I was like, what do I you was, mean my husband? It was awake? so funny because, like, I'm going to be very specific so he doesn't send me multiple pictures of all of our boards <laughs> like he did the last time. I was like, I need you to send me a picture of the board in our room, the one that has a whiteboard and a cork board. And he sent me the correct one. I'm like, go you, man. This is why we best friends. <laughs> So, um, and then Se- Cena wrote a note for me in my section that says, we don't do other friends from Cena. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. And yes. then I put it in pink. So yeah, she knew did. it was me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so um, is that about it for your yeah. catch up? Mm-hmm. So mine, again, I can't really get into stuff. Yes. There's some family drama, but not mine. If y'all catch my drift. Yeah. Um. So... Uh, Moving on. I am officially past my 90 days at work. Hooray. And so that means I have health benefits again, which means I can refill. Hooray. Which means I can refill my antidepressants, which I haven't had in three days. Oh, my gosh. I know, right? At least you've had them, though. Yeah, I have had them. And, like, I know. Oh, my God. Everyone is going to yell at me for this. It's okay. So I still had some old pills. Yeah. And I halved my dosages Uh to stretch out. My, you gotta do what you gotta do, you baby. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I did what I did, and uh, tomorrow I have to go in because I have to manually change my insurance. Yes. You know, I can't uh-huh. do that online or anything. So yeah. So, I have to go in, I have to do that. And then, because I haven't filled my prescription since I had health insurance in July, it's been six months, and so they don't store that online anymore, so then I have to re-get my prescription. It says it's still, like, I can still fill it until March. So I should be able to get my next two doses. And then because I have new insurance, I hope they still take our beautiful Dr. Mark Anthony. Yeah. And um, otherwise I'm going to have to see somebody else. And that terrifies me. No, they. Oh, I don't know about your stuff. I was going to answer it like it was my insurance. Yeah. Are you alt care? Sorry. No. Okay. That's right. Anthem. Anthem. That's what we had when we were at the gym. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah, but it was shitty there, so. Yeah. Um, so, uh, tomorrow, because we're recording this on a Friday. Yes. I'm going to go see our beautiful uh, mistress, Alexis. Just float down from well, the she's sky, gonna come, Alexis. Yes, she's going to come to my house once I get off work. And we're going to hang out and do what we do. And then we're going to go up. And I love that. In Akron. <laughs> do what we do. <laughs> I think the whole world knows now, but <laughs> if you don't, go back to season three. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're going to hang out for a little bit because our booking at the Rage Room in Akron yeah. is for 4 p.m. Yeah. And I literally cannot wait. Um, she and I are doing that TikTok trend where we are writing yes. everything on a plate that we want to let go of. And I already read Nicole, my yes. plate. And of course, it was perfect. But she had more I things had to add on. One suggestion. <laughs> that was it. And I think it's a great suggestion. <laughs> um, so 
I know we already said at the beginning, but I missed recording. It's like a staple in our lives together. It's something we do together. Um, I know our audience isn't huge and all. Yeah. But like, this is just like something I love doing for us. And I like, I feel passionate about it. It's something that we talked about for most of our friendship for one doing. And the fact that we're doing it now is. We're living our dreams, baby. And it it feels good. And. I missed the endorphins it gave me, even though it's work sometimes and we stress. about yes. it. Yes. I think the way that we set up our seasons now will help with that, though. Yeah, because we won't have the holiday because I love you, but you shut down during I do. the holidays. I do. And that just one more stress that we just cannot add. Yeah. So um, I just I missed it. Um, so I'm already failing at two of my New Year's resolutions. That's why I don't set resolutions. <laughs> slash goals. I wrote slash goals. <laughs> the one was meal tracking. Yeah. And every day I get reminders from my fitness pal. It's like, hey, you didn't track your breakfast. You didn't track your lunch. You didn't track your dinner. Did you eat? And I'm like, absolutely I did. But I'm too lazy <laughs> yeah. to type it. Yeah. Um. On that note. Oh, wait. What else did I fail at? The working out in the morning. Working out in the morning. Yeah. 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 That's not happening. Um, it's too cold it's to too do that cold. nonsense. Like, I was going to be, like, walking to work, but. Not in this winter, not man. Not in this weather, but also we have a large homeless population, and a lot of them yeah. know I work for a bank. Yes. Like, I'm not saying. Cena had a thing at work to do with a homeless man <laughs> while we were gone, people. Yeah. It and- was kind of intense it was intense and like it involved the police and yeah. um it just kind of made me wary um so i kind of want to get back into the gym and i need to look over my health insurance stuff because i have a health insurance an hsa account yes same it covers a lot of things and i'm wondering if i can use my hsa account oh, to that's pay a, for my gym that's membership. a good question so i think i'm going to call my hr next week mm-hmm. or i've got a booklet at work that i keep at my yeah. desk i'm gonna look through it because i can know i can use it on like pads and tampons and yeah things like that oh that's cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Like a bunch of stuff I have like an that. HSA account, but we have a gym at our facility, so I don't know if that would count towards us. I don't know. I'm I, just too know, lazy to go to that because I'm on one side of a building and it's on the complete other side on the very bottom floor. Oh, no. You have to walk to the place well, you have to exercise Yes, at. but I would have to go like <laughs> during my lunch break. Oh, and like, the That's time. the only time I would be able yeah. to do it. Yeah. So I like that's that. what's annoying. Yeah. And we have the standing desks, and I thought about, like, how great would it be if we had those treadmills <laughs> that could yeah. go under desks? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, last week at D&D. Yeah. So, um, it was Teresa's birthday. So okay. Well, happy birthday, Teresa. Yeah. I haven't gotten any fucking tort. Oh, my gosh. And it's all gone. Your birthday's coming up. <sighs> I'll make your own personal tour. Thank you. This one was so Because we may good. have a live for my birthday. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so I don't know if I told you this story or not. No. So I, you know, I made a chocolate tour. Yeah. Because I did one for Andrew's birthday and I did one uh-huh. for Teresa. Because they yes. back to back. Yes. And so I took a chocolate tour up and I forgot the birthday candles in the car. And now... <laughs> I know all we do is shit on Alex. And listen, <laughs> bitching at Alex is my love language. Yes. I love him to the moon and back. I've Alex. only met him once and I make all the fun of him <laughs> yes. on our podcast. <laughs> and I love him. But I was in a mood when I showed up last yeah. Friday anyways. And yeah. Alex, you didn't shovel your sidewalk. <laughs> oh, no. And so I'm in flats because I came right from work. Yeah. I work late because we had no employees. Yes. <laughs> So I I get there. It's dark. It, all the snow. The, there was no path, and I almost slipped falling in. I walk in, and Alex is like, "Hey, Cena," and he's just like there in the living room. I walk in, and I go, "Are you or are you not the man of this house?" <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> and he's like, "Yes." Call like, him out. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I'm like, shovel your fucking sidewalks next time. I'm like, my shoes are wet. <laughs> for like five minutes straight. And I walk in to the dining room where we all sit. And there's Jared and Joe and Tariq. 